Hello guys, hello and welcome. We are at the police training centre. We are, uh, see as it's, you know, an East Coast Bride on, on Google, but, you know, uh, how many really call this East Coast Bride? Uh, but yeah, this is a police uh, training uh, centre. Um, this is where you know officers will start their training to become an officer. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know this is where they start. Oh no, hard work to become officers. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's have a wee nosy up here. So yeah, police training headquarters here. So. Partly, this is covered in CCTV here, guys, uh, because, you know, uh, this is where they start, you know, firearms, things like that. So, yeah, uh, I phoned up last night and, you know, the guy was quite pleasant over the phone and he's like having a thighs but you know and then uh, once uh, so yeah training recruitment centre here uh, it's underneath the name of Jackton so yeah uh, You know, quite a nice place. So it takes two years for the officers to start their training here. Because uh, I think they do all sorts of training, you know, like firearms, uh, you know, bot like for terrorism acts, you know, and stuff like that. This is where they start their training so looks quite busy today guys in here uh saw a bit rough from last night mind you from birthday celebrations but you know this is the best way to uh get over name so yeah uh like i say uh it's quite a you know, quiet area this. Uh, I had to walk, you know, about a mile and a half from East Co Bride to here. But it's still under the name East Co Bride. You know, where, you know, um, the name of this place where it's in. So, if anybody knows better, it says up there Jackton. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's a footpath that goes up there or not, so uh not a wee nosy about it anyway, you know. I've seen people walking a dog so I presume it's okay going up there. Uh and day and as if you're not doing anything bad, you know, and day it's get you out and about, you guys. Uh, I don't think there is a path up there. Just seems like grass. But yeah, uh, like I say, um, if anybody knows more, I've been trying to Google about this place. And, you know, then they, oh, let's see, it doesn't really give much information. So, yeah, 
if anybody knows a bit of info about this place, you know, and CCTV images are monitored by Police Scotland for the purpose of crime prevention and public safety. So, there you go, guys. So it's okay for police, for public safety to film, but, you know, you can't film. You know, I don't understand that all, but, yeah, like I, like I say, what's the difference by having a uniform on to not having a uniform on? So, yeah, guys, uh, like I say, quite a nice place, quite a nice... You know, set out here, nice wooded area. So yeah, uh, you know, quite a nice, nice location it's in. Uh, you know, then there, you know, when you look at the surrounding area, nothing really much around. So must be a, you know, just out the road. You know, get officers. You know, busy training for, you know, becoming a police officer, so, yeah, so, first time doing at a recruitment police centre, I just found it out last night, you know, while having a few drinks, listening to Club One TV guys, so, I just thought, right, Sunday, let's do a wee video. <coughs> yeah. Sorry if the COVID site was wasn't good enough guys. Uh then there, you know, it's quite actually weird how there's a COVID site down by and there's no security monitoring the place, so yeah. So let's have a wee wander down and see if there's any bits I can get on film guys uh, so um, apparently which I read up on about I don't know if it's this place or there's one in King Carden uh, you know police officers actually stay on the base uh, uh, until their training is finished and once our training's finished, guys, uh, then, you know, that's the same, they don't need to be there for much longer. So, if anybody knows information about this place, I don't know if officers actually, you know, stay on the place or whatever, but, you know, whether these kind of units are here, I don't know. So, somebody beeping the horn in the way. Must be watching our videos or love free videos. So, so I wonder if this is when they start off their corruption in here, though, some of them. Because it's a shame there's people actually training hard to become an officer. And Whoever's teaching them, you know, are they teaching them how to become corrupt? Like you see, there's quite a few police vehicles up there. Uh, so like I say, you know, it's a shame on the officers round about this area. Uh, you know, they're training to, to get a loving. Uh, <coughs> to do well for themselves but also there's ones that are probably just you know getting taught the opposite side and you know doing corruption and stuff like that you know, it's, hopefully not you know because then day it seems a nice place in there uh, you know being a couple of cars that have passed us and you know there's not been any issues of me standing outside here so that's what you want guys you know uh, 
and there we're not here for any malicious cause we're here to give a wee background on the place um, so yeah you know like I say uh, you know just hopefully the officers do a good job no corruption on the scale uh, so yeah it is a cold one today guys uh, you know so yeah so if whatever officers are getting caught and by hopefully they're doing a grand job and hopefully there'll be no more corruption in the police service uh, hopefully no more corruption anymore guys because you know it's not a crime to film so I wonder if this is where the old classes are bound these guys you know after that metal fence stops where that line is wonder when you walk past there that's when they'll say right this is our property now well really it isn't you know you should have signs up saying it's your property the signs up there so uh yeah Club 3 would probably like this one you know if I was with you know probably a few more a few people you know I would probably see what it's like walking on the place but since it's a police training centre and there's one of us uh I'm not advising that guys right now um like I say I'll walk back up again but you know any day I don't advise to you know go past that box there sadly because you know I don't want to get jumped and started getting you know attacked by officers looks like somebody's made a <laughs> looks like somebody's made a dog snowman kind of melted away a shame but <laughs> so yeah like I say, hopefully they're doing the good stuff in there, teaching the right stuff, training officers to become better people. Uh, it's the same anywhere, guys. You know, any day, you know, what's the crime of filming? What's the crime of doing anything? Any day, what do they, what do you know, police and prison officers want, you know, is turning to the bad stuff, you know, it's bad enough during this time of, you know, lockdown, you know, they're expecting people to go absolutely mental, you know, then day, it's not a crime to film, uh, so yeah, last we look at the nice sign, Police Scotland, Training and Recruitment Centre, Jackton. So, yeah. Like I say, I don't know if this is where they also train, you know, for sniffer dogs and stuff like that, you know. Like I say, it's, you know, it is a training centre. So, yeah. Uh, straight in the middle of nowhere, to be honest with you. So, so yeah. So, quite good info, nice wee area, so yeah, uh, so yeah, guys, it's quite good because, you know, I don't know if it's people that are getting trained, but there's no, it doesn't seem to be an issue, so that's good to see you, that's what you want, uh, notice up there the flag's flying high so and don't know if it's up there where probably officers go in uh, 